American Invitational Mathematical Examination or AMI. I think everyone knows about that. So from 1996 AMI, we have its problem 8. So according to that, if x is a real number that satisfies sine to the power 10x plus cos to the power 10x is equals to 11 by 36, then what is the value of sine to the power 12x plus cos to the power 12x? But the actual question is doesn't like that. According to that, sine to the power 12x plus cos to the power 12x is in the form of m by n and m and n are co-prime numbers. So we have to find the value of m plus n. This is like basically find the value of sine to the power 12x plus cos to the power 12x after adding the numerator and denominator. So please give your trial to this question and keep watching for the solution. Now the theorem which we are using is binomial theorem and if you didn't know about this theorem I will tell you every detail of this binomial theorem. So according to binomial theorem if a plus b are two terms if we raise its power up to n then we can express this in the form of this whole stuff so after expressing this as more easier way a plus b to the power n is equals to n times c0 and n c0 is the coefficient of first term 0 means first term to, times a to the power n minus which term is this like in this case it is 0 so a to the power n minus 0 times b to the power which term is this and this is 0 so b to the power 0 similarly plus n c1 times a to the power n minus which term is this and this is 1 times b to the power which term is this and in this case is 1 so it is 1 and going in the same way plus n to the power c n minus 2 times a to the power n minus plus 2 because we are subtracting which term is this times b to the power n minus 2 because our this is our n minus 2 term plus n to the power c n minus 1 times a to the power n minus n minus 1 after opening the brackets you get this times b to the power n minus 1 because it's our n minus 1 term plus we have our final last term which is our n term times a to the power n minus n this is going to be 0 and a going to be 1 times b to the power n that's our binomial theorem says and if you have to find a coefficient of this every term you have to use this formula which is c k it means our k term is equals to n factorial by k factorial times n minus k quantity factorial this is known as our binomial theorem now we write our binomial theorem in the upper side now we have given that sine to the power 10 x plus cos to the power 10 x is equals to 11 by 36 and x is the real number so sine square x plus cos square x is also equals to 1 because this is our basic trigonometry identity which is always valid in a real number now after expressing fifth power on both sides now i know that we didn't do multiplication of a plus b up to fifth power for getting the identity of a plus b whole to the power 5 we will use binomial theorem for that so our first term is 5 c 0 which is equals to 5 factorial by 0 factorial times 5 minus 0 factorial which is equals to 5 factorial by 0 factorial is 1 so 1 times 5 factorial which is equals to 1 so our first term is 1 is equals to 1 times of sine square x to the power 5 because 
n is 5 in this case so 5 minus 0 is 0 times b to the power 0 and b is cos to the power 2x now our second term which is 5 c1 is equals to 5 factorial by 1 factorial times 5 minus 1 factorial so this is 5 factorial by 1 times 4 factorial which is equals to 5 so our second term is 5 times sine square x tab to the power of n minus 1 so this is 4 times cos square x times to the which term is this this and this is 1 so this is cos square x to the power 1 now we move on to our third coefficient which is 5 c2 which is equals to 5 factorial by 2 factorial times 5 minus 2 factorial which is 5 factorial by 2 times 3 factorial which is equals to 10. So our third term will be equal to 10 times sine square x to the power n minus 2 because it is our second term. So sine square x times to the power 3 times cos square x to the power 2. And similarly 5c3 is equals to 5 factorial by 3 factorial times 5 minus 3 factorial. This is 5 factorial by 6 times 2 factorial which is also equals to 10. So our implementary term is 10 times sine square x to the power 2 times cos square x to the power 3. And doing in the same way we get this. Now after expressing the exponents we get this now look at this sine to the power 10x plus cos to the power 10x is also given so doing this and after subtracting both sides 11 by 36 we get 1 minus 11 by 36 is equals to 5 times sine square x times cos square x we take this as common so after our remaining portion is sine to the power 6x plus 2 times sine to the power 4x times cos to the power 2x plus 2 times sine to the power 2x times cos to the power 4x plus cos to the power 6x. Now in the bracket term, take 2 times sine square x times cos square x as common. So we get 2 times sine to the power 2x times cos to the power 2x is times sine to the power 2x plus cos square x which is equals to 1 we know that this is our basic trigonometry identity so we get on LHS side we have 25 by 36 and on RHS side we have 5 times sine square x times cos square x times sine to the power 6x plus cos to the power 6x plus 2 times sine square x times cos square x now let this be our equation first now Again, using our basic trigonometric identity, and now this time cubing both sides of that, and you also use binomial theorem again. After using binomial theorem, we you get the identity a plus b to the power three is equals to a cube plus b cube plus three ab times a plus b. So after implementing this, we get this, and again sine square x plus cos square x is one. So we get this so 1 minus 3 times sine square x times cos square x is equal to sine to the power 6x plus cos to the power 6x so let this be our equation second now putting our equation second into our equation first so we get this and after opening the brackets we get this so let alpha is equal to sine square x times cos square x so we get 0 is equal to alpha minus alpha square minus 5 by 36 and after substitution more we get 0 is equal to 36 alpha square minus 36 alpha plus 5 no so our quadratic formula is x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a and after putting the values we get this and after simplifying them we get this and after reduce its to its lowest term we get alpha is equal to 3 plus or minus 2 by 6 so alpha which is equal to sine square x times cos square x is either 1 by 6 or 5 by 6 
we have to figure out the correct value of alpha and for this we use our equation second which is 1 minus 3 times sine square x times cos square x is equals to sine to the power 6 x plus cos to the power 6 x and alpha is equals to 1 by 6 or 5 by 6 now if sine square x times cos square x is equals to 1 by 6 so after putting this in our equation second we get sine to the power 6 x plus cos to the power 6 x is equals to 1 by 2 and on another side if sine square x times cos square x is equals to 5 by 6 and after implementing this also in equation second we get sine to the power 6 x plus cos to the power 6 x is equals to negative 3 by 2 and this is basically wrong because I will tell you the proof for that now, suppose that by chance sine of x is a negative number and cosine of x is also a negative number so sine to the power 6 x plus cos to the power 6 x is equals to 6th power of this negative number plus 6th power of this negative number also and we know that if we raise a power of a negative number up to a even number then this makes this odd number always even so sine to the power 6 x plus cos to the power 6 x has to be a positive number but this thing doesn't always that so if mean considering sine to the power 2x times cos to the power 2x is equals to 5 by 6 is not valid so the one and one only final value is sine to the power 6x plus cos to the power 6x is equals to 1 by 6 and after using this in our equation second we get sine to the power 6x plus cos to the power 6x is equals to 1 by 2 now we have given these both values now squaring both side of this term and after using a plus b whole square formula or you also use binomial theorem so we get 1 by 4 is equals to this all stuff so 1 by 4 is equals to sine to the power 12 x plus cos to the power 12 x plus 2 times sine square x times cos square x to the power 3 and after putting the value of sine square x times cos square x that we found which is equals to 1 by 6 so we get this so sine square x plus cos square x is equals to 4 minus 1 by 108 so sine square x plus cos square x is equals to 104 by 432 and we reduce it to its lowest possible term so we get cosine square x plus sine to the power 12 x is equals to 13 by 54 and according to quotient it is equals to m by n so m plus n is equals to 13 plus 54 which is equals to 67 and that is our correct answer you might also solve these types of quotient by using a plus b whole square and a plus b whole cube identity without using a plus b to the power fifth identity which I will express by using binomial theorem but using binomial theorem makes this question more easier so I hope you will love that